Hey, it's Coping Skill Tuesday. Today I thought we would go over the idea of taking a task and breaking it down into small bites. So the idea here is to take a task that I can't engage with or something that is overwhelming and break it down into small steps. Um, so let's take getting out of the house for example. I'd break it down into small steps um, to getting out. So starting with like swinging legs out of bed and then pushing myself out of bed and standing up, go to the bathroom, get dressed, etc. And being detailed and tedious is really important. So writing it down in my to-do list can be helpful and can help me feel productive. Um, it's also important to mention that not every step is required and there's no expectation that the end result will even happen. So understanding that if I need to get out of the house for work might need to happen, but at the same time, if I'm having that bad of a day, I can't expect myself to go to work that day either. So I have to keep those things in mind. Um, and now there's also things where it's like, I have to go. Um, and that can make it even more stressful. So, so let's talk about the obstacles to engaging. Um, first, too much anxiety can be an obstacle to engaging, like with breaking it down. And then, I would say, worn out by tediousness. Um, it's so tedious and it sucks. So, some thoughts to overcoming the anxiety are. Start maybe start with like a meditation. Um, is it an anxiety medication type of day? Um, sometimes I need a little extra help, so maybe I need to be maybe I need to take some medication that I have that's been prescribed. Um, maybe I need to call my therapist. Um, maybe I need to start with the anxiety and remove the extra anxiety and determine if the big goal that needs to be done and broken down to needs to be changed. So if my goal is to get outside for the day, maybe my actual goal needs to be, like maybe it's just too big of a goal and I need to start with something like getting downstairs and eating breakfast and that being the goal for the day and being okay with that. A big goal sometimes needs to be broken down into smaller goals so that it can be um, reached. Because like I was saying, this can really help me to feel productive. Like if I have a long list of things to do, um, and even though they're small tasks like swinging legs, push yourself out of bed, like all of those things, but being able to tick them off can really make me feel productive. So if I can break it down further or maybe cut that in half, like maybe the list is too long. Maybe that day there's too many little things to get done before I can get out of the house. So maybe I need to cut it in half and split it up over a couple of days. Um, might be helpful. And that might be contributing to the anxiety. So there's, you know, I think if anxiety is getting in the way of this one, then the anxiety needs to be addressed first. Sometimes. It's just not a get out of bed sort of day. So with regards to overcoming like the fact that I get worn out by tediousness, there are days when I feel like I'm worn out by how tedious things can be and that maybe it's a day to take things slower and maybe make the day easier. So breaking down the day to the necessities like eating breakfast, getting a shower, brushing teeth, drinking water, things like that, like, and maybe reevaluating my goals again can kind of help from things that get in the way. Anxiety, worn, feeling worn out, uh, those things can be obstacles to anything. Um, so meditation, I think, can be helpful and reevaluate the day after doing meditation. How do I engage in the moment? Well, I use my to-do list to help me with anything I'm struggling with and I write it out. So my to-do list has been really helpful. I think a to-do list helps me at the end of the day to see that I was really productive. 
Um, so if at the end of the day I look at my to-do list and see, oh, I've crossed off all of these things, there's still some things left over, but look at I've crossed off like 20 things, even if it was 20 small steps to getting downstairs, that's a lot, and that can help me out at the end of the day to be like, hey, it was a really tough day today, and I still accomplished each little tiny step. So, rating the coping skill. I think engaging in the moment, it helps to reevaluate the situation, so the ease is about a five. <laughs> I think there's nothing really to get in the way, um, because a, breaking it down is an evaluation, so there's nothing really to get in the way. Overcoming obstacles, it's a slowdown tool, um, you know, where it really slows me down to be like, oh my god, I'm super anxious and I have to get outside today and it's not going to happen, what am I going to do? And it's like, oh, let me break this down a second. Um, so it's a five. Because I have the, t I guess maybe because I have the tools available, I have a book that is purely my to-do list. So that might be an obstacle if you don't have something. Um, but just grabbing anything, a napkin, pencil, um, can can be good enough. So I I would say five. So availability, you can do it in your mind. You can do it on your hand. You can write it down on a random piece of paper. So it's a five. I would say this is something you can use on your toughest day. So it's a five. You know, if the toughest day is just everything going to shit and I can't get out of bed, or, you know, just really having a rough time, I can still have my tough day and still have a rough time and still break it down to make sure I get my necessities met for the day. So it's a five. So that makes it an average of a five. So it's a five coping skill. All right, that was coping skill Tuesday. I will see you all on Thursday for regularly scheduled Thursdays. Have a great day.